Ethiopia's former capital, Ankoba, lies 170 kilometers from Addis Ababa. Ten years ago, Michael Segai visited the town and took these photos. He wanted to preserve the memories of the place that was the heart of the country more than a hundred years ago. It's good to know your past, to, to know where you are standing now. So uh, that's the way I think it's always going back and to understand what's going on now. That's the main idea, I think, about the pictures. Michael's favorite photograph is this one. He says he didn't see the woman's face. It has always remained a mystery, and the mystical feeling is something he hopes to pass on to viewers. The way I uh, took the pictures, it's uh, in between showing and hiding at the same time. So I'm not very close to the subject, and I'm not very far, but they come in and out of the, uh, what do you call it, the square, the frame. For me, some of them are sad, melancholic, and uh, yeah, they're beautiful, but in a sad way, I think. Michael started out as a painter in 2002, but soon fell in love with photography. The 22 images in the Ankoba series are his first formal exhibition. When you look at it, you know, these are just regular Ethiopians who are basically conducting their day-to-day, -day, you know, activities. And yet, this 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 fog gave it this this you know feeling that was something special, and it just touched me in a way that oh my God, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a familiar place, yet at the same time, it became very mysterious. The prints cost one thousand six hundred dollars each, but Michael is looking beyond the possible financial gain. He is focused on telling more stories through his new passion. Michael is currently working on a project he calls Future Memories. This will be a collection of photographs depicting the changes in Addis Ababa city over the years. Colette Anjohi for CCTV in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.